Hey gals and guys, this is War Turtle here from Lexi's Help Desk, and today we're going to talk about how to create the custom loot groups that you uh, need in order to sort the plugins for this guide. So, on Lexi's website, if you go to the prerequisite page, uh, there is a section on installing loot. This is where you'll find instructions on creating custom loot groups. Make sure that you follow them all. You need to run loot at least once outside of Mod Organizer before you even start this uh, to make sure that the master list updates properly. Uh, and you can see here are those instructions on how to do that. I'm not going to go through those. But let's go ahead and create the custom loot groups that we have down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Mod Organizer. Uh, you're not going to see all of the mods that I've already installed. Uh, so your left pane will look different. But your right pane will look like this. You'll see the master file plugins. Left click on the executable bar and scroll down. Choose Loot. Then left click on Run and Mod Organizer 2 will then load Loot. Once it's done parsing metadata, you'll see the master plugins listed. You need to make sure that you're actually running Skyrim Special Edition. That's what this guide is. If for some reason you're running TES5 Skyrim, that's the Legendary Edition and you need to uh, change that. Otherwise the master list loot groups will be incorrect. We're going to go to the upper right hand corner and click the three dots then choose Open Groups Editor. Now you can see the master list of loot groups. If this screen is blank, that's because you forgot to load loot outside of Mod Organizer 2 at least once before getting to this step. If it looks radically different, you likely have the Legendary Edition of Skyrim and you need to change to the Special Edition inside loot. Now, this list does update over time, so if it doesn't look identical, that's okay. This is just what it looks like at the time that I made the video. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start to add some of our custom groups. I'm going to click up here in Add a New Group on Group Name. I'm then going to type the name of my first group, Trivial Smelters of Skyrim. When I press Enter, you can see that there is a new loot group that's been added over here on the left. Now, I'm going to add the rest of my loot groups that I need now. Then I'm going to drag them all into place. MLU patches, enter. C core patches, CACO patches, merge patches, I want patches. We're also going to need a few more loot groups NPC retextures, consistency patches. Conflict Resolution, and lastly, Arthmore's Villages. Okay, now that we have the loot groups that we need, we can put them into the correct order. So, I'm going to take Trivial Smelters of Skyrim, click it, and hold down the left mouse button. I'm going to drag it over here to where you see Cell Settings. I'll just put it somewhere underneath. I'm then going to drag the rest of these new groups over here, some vague order, like this, up to I want patches. Now, I'm going to highlight cell settings until it turns to this open circle, and then I'm going to hold down the left mouse button and drag it to Trivial Smelters of Skyrim. You can see that that turns green. I'm then going to do the same thing. Drag, or sorry, click until it turns to an open circle and then drag a new arrow. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Now, you can see that I've built this path, but it ends right here at I want patches. And what I want to do is I want to connect it back to Lighting Enhancers here. Now, uh, the next time that you come back to this screen, Loot will have organized this so that it looks a little better, so you don't have to be super pretty about this. Um, Loot will do it for you later.
These next ones, we're going to drag underneath Khajiit Speak. MPC retextures, consistency patches, and then conflict resolution. And we're going to do the same thing, where we connect them in order. And once you get to conflict resolution, we are going to connect that to leveled list modifiers. And you can see that when you close this branch, it turns from that green to gray. And that's how you know that you've connected it all correctly. Arthmer's Villages goes here between low priority overrides and high priority overrides. And with that, you're done. You go down to apply, press the button. We're then going to close out of loot, and it should put us back into Mod Organizer 2. So you've finished installing the loot groups. These won't actually be used until finishing line when we sort plugins, but you're done. The, the reason that we do this in the first place is so that we can use loot as a tool to help us sort the plugins into the order required by the guide. The master list of loot and the rules associated with each plugin are submitted by users, verified by the loot team, and then added to the rules of loot. And, and for our guide, sometimes we don't want that. We want a certain plugin to load before a different one in order for the record that we want to win to actually win. Loot was not designed to work with over 600 plugins and get them all right in the order that we want because we deal with all the, cus the conflict resolution with a custom CR file. So, uh, so that's why we're doing this. Um, and I hope that the rest of the guide install goes well for you. If you have any questions about this process, please come over to the help desk. Everybody there is always happy to help.